Okay, so here's my commentary for after it. Okay, so we're going to make an intersection curve using a surface and a coil. This will be used to make a pummel on the bottom of my rapier handle. It's kind of the same process throughout. Right. Yep, so I've moved on to the pummel. You can see I've got like a top piece that is pretty unrefined, but it's more there for the constraints. But you can see the repeated spirals. And you can see it's pretty much, as said, the same on the handle, except it's also got a cut in and a repeat through. The same can be done whether it's actually a closed surface or an open surface, whether you have um, where it elongates out and leaves the top open or a sphere where it's completely sealed off, it doesn't matter so much. So we're going to start with the line. That's going to form the diameter of our circle. We'll start at 20. And we're then going to go define this as the midline. And we're then going to find the midpoint. I'm going to make the radius, which is obviously going to be half our diameter, so it's going to be 10. And we're going to set that as a construction line. I see it there. Then we're going to take a three point arc, snap at each end, and go right through the middle. And there you go. Now we need to select the revolve. Everything always selects. We change to a surface. And that's pretty easy. Right, okay. So now we're going to start making a plane for the bottom because I'm going to start working on the coil. So going to make the XZ plane for the coil. Why is it for the cut for the actual coil path and then for the actual shape of the coil? So that's gonna be a coil path. And we're gonna finish sketch. And that will then allow us to now move in and that allow us to sign to find the bottom. To find the bottom plane which we can then use to find the actual profile. We then just get set it to zero, so it's right on the bottom of the sphere. There we go, and there we just disable the visibility, so it's actually because it's quite hard to see with the orange. And so you go right along the middle. We're gonna make a line from the middle all the way to the edge, so it guarantees, and just a little bit over, because it guarantees we intersect. Then we're gonna select coil, the surface, so we can select the select the midline and the profile and then we're going to change it slightly so we have two revolutions at a pitch 10 which will give us two full coils all the way through and uh, we just click OK. Next we're going to hide that wet plane, don't need it and then we're going to go into 3D sketch mode, this is pretty much the easiest part we just click the intersection curve, so the two surfaces we made and boom, done. Then now we can pretty much hide all of our surfaces now so that's Easy, just change the symbol of visibility. There you go, there's our path. So now we're just going to click on there and make a plane on the edge. Right per perpendicular to it, and then we're just going to start a 2D sketch on there. And we're just going to make a circle. And we'll set it to 2 mils. And then we just click sweep. Uh, we just select path, click OK. Then it's going to do a circular. There's our feature. And then it's going to the rotation axis around the Y. And there it is. Now there's little to no spacing, so what we can actually do is because it's all defined within the sweep, we can then go down into the sweep, into sketch 4, and we're going to halve that diopter to 1. Now we finish. And adapt and there you go you should end up something like that now you can adjust the material and do what you like or you can leave it is that's how to use an intersection curve to form a complex shape using 3d sketches